Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 0.25, the long season. We have here Jebediah Kerman in the pilot seat of our next launch. Uh, mind you, he's only in the pilot seat because it's his turn in the rotation. After Donnie's flight, I stopped by the uh, astronaut complex and I hired Tanbury Kerman and put him at the end of the list because he's a new hire. And then Jebediah is up next, so we'll go with that. Everybody gets to fly, but only in their turns. And as I hire more, it'll be longer between turns. All right, what we have here is uh, essentially the same ship as the last launch. This one is for ComSat 2. It will be followed by ComSats 3 and 4, respectively. And that should settle our needs for uh, communication satellites, for the time being at least. Uh, I figure it would probably be a good idea, as someone suggested, to put w one or possibly two in a polar orbit around Kerbin. And then, of course, there's the matter of ComSats in uh, orbit around the Moon and Minimus to maintain communication from there. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. In the meantime, it's time to get this show on the road, and uh, I think what I'm going to do here is uh, just do my normal thing. I will use a combination of speed-ups and cuts, because you've, once you've seen one launch to orbit of a particular ship, you've pretty much seen them all, unless something unusual happens. And so, unless something unusual happens, we'll be back once this thing is on its way back to Kerbin, having delivered the satellite.
All right, we have a little bit of a situation developed here. The ship is on a return course. It will re-enter. There is no stopping that, especially since not only is the fuel very low, but the electric charge is depleted completely. The next one of these I launch is going to have some OX stat panels on uh, the delivery part of the ship. Because, as it is, this thing is going to tumble into the atmosphere. This may very well be the end of Jebediah. And by that I don't mean until the cloning vats come in, because missing crew's respawn is turned off in the save. There is nothing we can do but uh, just move time forward and see what happens. He's on a we are going to impact the ground trajectory and let's see yeah he's only about 13 to 15 minutes away from hitting the ground so let's see although I got a feeling that uh, Even stage decoupling is not going to work. Well, let's try it. We have a stage we need to get rid of. Stage decoupling did work. I may, therefore, be able to deploy the parachutes. But controlling the capsule's attitude? No way, Jose, that is not going to happen. Here's hoping that the shape of things will take care of that when they encounter aerodynamics. Basically, when it hits atmosphere, I need it to flip over and percent back end first. It looks like it's turning retrograde, unless it goes into a tumble. It's wobbling back and forth, almost a tumble, mostly retrograde. Let's just see how deadly the deadly reentry is for this trip. Jeb, if you make it through this, I may shoot you myself, because this will add to your already excessive reputation. monitoring the parachute pressure. We need at least one of those to survive. We're mostly retrograde just by the natural shape of things. This is good. I'm telling you, Jeb, you have no right to survive this. And your already excessive reputation does not need to be fed. Curse you, Jeb. You're going to live through it. I may personally throttle you for this. Okay. Yeah, he's going to live through it. Doggone it. Things did get kind of hairy there for a few minutes. I heard some definite sounds of something overheating and getting ready to blow up. Parachutes did not deploy. 
I was able to trick the, st trip the staging, but the parachutes did not deploy. So Jeb was all certain he was going to survive until he didn't. This is not exactly good because it's going to do nasty things for the reputation. Cannot auto save. Of course you can't auto save. You also can't recover because there's nothing to recover. Or is there? Uh, no nearby objects to focus on. Okay. Let's see what happened at Mission Control because of this. Almost certainly a reputation hit. Uh, have no idea, of course. We have no after-mission report here. Uh, we didn't get any science. This wasn't a science mission. We spent some money. And this is talking about the stages that were recovered. Well, isn't that special? All right, let's load that launcher up and see if we can maybe prevent this particular problem from ever happening again. Frankly, I should have done it from the word go. Ah, there they are. Good old OXStat. It'll make the ship cost a little more, but it won't have that particular issue again. Well, Jebediah is no longer in the crew rotations. And uh, we'll make a note down here. Jebediah, the first killed in action. Hopefully also the last. Because as ironically satisfying as it may have been in a sort of a mean way, um, it's bad for the reputation and it's bad for the program. However, Bill is up next. Bill? Can you succeed where Jeb failed? Let's hope so, because you're launching next. <laughs>